Hi guys, uh, last time we added power to our suspension system, this time I'm going to add the speed bar and the results will be surprising. Welcome to my classroom, insights into perimodular geometry. This is part six. We have around 30 videos on the list. We'll cover every aspect of perimodular geometry and design. By the end of this classroom, you will be able to decide what is the best perimodular for you. So now when you push the speed bar, you obviously apply force with your feet on the speed bar, but then you need to find some support. That is, you lean with your upper body, with your upper back against the paramotor. Let's see what it does with the low suspension paramotor. That is the troublemaker. On the low suspension system, you lean against the paramotor, but the pivot point is lower. This will cause the whole paramotor pitch backwards. If the prop is leaned back, this is definitely an unwanted behavior because then the thrust line is pushing you upwards. This means the engine is, is making you lighter. The wing loading decreases and with a lower wing loading, you fly slower. This is definitely not what you want when you're pushing the speed bar. Apart of uh, the lower speed, there are also some safety considerations, but we will cover that in one of the next videos. Now I need to stress one fact. This is only valid for a low suspension system with a moving bar. If the bar is fixed, nothing happens because the whole harness is rigid and it will not move. What is the solution? Well, it's very simple. Uh, we need to have the pivot point of the bar around your upper body. That is, if you lean back, you lean directly into the pivot point of the bar and the whole paramotor will not lean back. So this is exactly what happens with the gooseneck bars, the medium suspension. The pilot leans with his upper body against the, the frame exactly in the pivot point so the paramotor does not pitch forward or backwards. But there is one more thing to consider and that is the change of the center of gravity when you push the speed bar, especially when you push the speed bar straight forward with your legs straight, so not down but ahead your center of gravity moves a little bit forward and that will cause leaning you a little forward. So the, so the prop will pitch forward. That means part of the thrust will push you down, increasing the wing loading. And with an increased wing loading, you fly faster. And this is actually what you want when pushing the speed bar. It's good so. Uh, high suspension systems behave neutral simply because the, all these straps are highly tensioned and the whole harness and the frame is pretty rigid. There is no tendency leaning backwards. There is also no tendency of leaning forward because of change of the center of gravity, simply because of the pendulum effect. Uh, the suspension point is way too high, so the center of gravity does not have such significant effect. So the position remains neutral. So let's do the comparison. I have all suspension systems in one line. Uh, high suspension systems uh, behave neutral, as said, regardless whether they are fixed bar or moving bar. Uh, medium suspension system, the gooseneck bars, are actually pitch positive. Low suspension system with a fixed bar is neutral because harness do does not change the geometry. Low suspension system with the moving bars will pitch backwards which is an unwanted behavior. Mm -hmm. 
So we have added power to our paramotor, we have pushed the speed bar, now it's time to go back to the ground. In the next video, I want to talk about ground handling and running with a paramotor. You don't want to miss that, so please uh, hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching, thanks for sharing, and see you soon. Ciao.